Hi everyone, thought I would put together my full cloth nappy wash routine. I've been using cloth full time for almost one year and a half on my son. Over that time I've created a routine that works well for our family. I try not to overthink it and keep it simple so hopefully some of you might be able to get some good tips along the way. So this is where it all starts, the dry pail, aka the Kmart basket. I wash every second day and after each time I change my son, I place the soiled nappy straight in here. No rinsing or soaking necessary. You'll see here I already have some nappies in the machine. This is because I ordered some new ones and when I get new nappies it is best to soak them in cold water for 24 hours before use to boost the absorbency. <laughs> So when it comes to washing them, I add them straight to the machine. I've added them to the new ones which I've been soaking for about 24 hours. I'll only ever soak nappies when I want to boost the absorbency. We use cloth baby wipes too. I bought this kit which is very simple to use. Probably a bit expensive up front but worth it for the convenience. I add what is left from the kits, both clean and dirty, to the wash. I then put them on a cold rinse cycle with no detergent. This is classified as my pre-wash. I did use the pre-wash on warm with detergent but found it made no difference to the final product. My machine does a water level automatically which is helpful. I also use a lower spin speed as this helps not to put stress on the nappy elastic. I then rinse out my wipes containers and leave them to dry before filling with fresh wipes. I'll often rinse out the dry pail too and leave him here in my sink to refill throughout the day. When I add a nappy to the dry pail, any solids go straight into the toilet and I'll pull out the insert from the pocket and add it straight to the dry pail. I'll only ever rinse the cover when it's really dirty. Pre-wash is done now and I'll add one scoop of detergent. This is my main wash now, so it's a full cycle. This is when I wash in warm water. Again, the spin speed is lower. I've always hung the nappy shells like this on the era. I find it doesn't put as much stress on the elastics and I can always chase the sun with the era. I don't always leave them in the sun as it's not good for the elastics, especially in the summer here where it can reach up to 40 degrees. I then hang our inserts and wipes on our main line in full sun. I find whatever the wash might miss in regards to stains, the sun will often fix. Sunlight is a natural bleaching agent and helps to reduce any bacteria that might still be lingering. I then go and set up our wipes for the next two days. I put lavender oil in our fresh wipes container and tea tree oil in the mucky container. Fill to the marker with water and then soak the wipes and leave them. Once the nappies are dry, I bring them inside and I start sorting them. I have a few different brands I use and if I had my chance again I probably would have done some better research into the brands I use and also done a higher package to see what brands and styles work well for us. In saying that I'm very happy with our stash now. These are hippie bottoms, a more budget and MCN. We stuff them as we go. These are baby behinds. A higher end MCN, probably one of my personal favourite. Easy to use, absorbent, cute prints, great fit. I fold the insert into thirds and stuff it into the pocket. However, they're not very husband friendly as he can't fit his hand into the pockets to stuff. 
These are seedling baby, one of my other favourites. I originally brought cheaper cloth nappies, but over time have bought more inserts, so in hindsight have ended up costing close to the price of a good quality cloth nappy. However, I still find ways to use my cheaper branded nappies. So that is it really. I like to have them all packed away and ready to go by the end of the day. I have about 40 cloth nappies and find this gives enough drying time over the cooler months. I do have a dryer which I'll use sparingly when it's raining. I'll still only ever dry the inserts and wipes and leave the covers to dry on the airer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please feel free to ask any questions. Bye!